What's up, PN dudes? Peter Mount Panda here. Hey, I just bought myself a Chromebook. Uh, got this one from Tanga, and it was basically because uh, I went on a trip and I thought, you know, I could kind of use a computer to upload some videos, pound out some emails, and I really don't need a full blown laptop. I just need a really just Chromebook functionality. The other thing I wanted to find out is can I upload a video? to YouTube on a Chromebook. It does have kind of like a small hard drive, but I don't know if it interfaces between the browser and the hard drive very well. I just don't know how that works. Now, this one's refurbished, and it's literally the cheapest Chromebook I could get my hands on. This is a, a $100 Chromebook, and I don't know, it doesn't really come with much in terms of documentation here. Um, and so it's, uh, you know, refurbed, open box, returned item, that kind of thing. And I uh, just thought I'd take a look at it. It's the HP Chromebook. And, you know, it has like these rubber strips here. They're not super grippy. They're kind of just like rubber plastic. But I guess it'll give you a little more grip than the kind of the glossy white. It looks pretty nice and feels pretty solid in the hand. Now the glossy surface is obviously showing my, you know, hand sweat. And then it looks like there's an LED strip on the front here. That looks like there's multicolored. It's like in the Google green, yellow, red, blue. Now let's just go ahead and open this sucker up. What up? Detroit versus everybody. All right, so what we have here is a black surround around the screen, then a glossy screen. It says chrome down there. We also have uh, white plastic all the way around and then kind of matte white plastic on the keyboard on the chiclet style keys. Uh, the plastic separating them is glossy white. And then we also have this uh, similar blue, uh, it's plastic ring around the keyboard it looks pretty nice I mean the blue ties it to those those feet on the bottom and then we have a trackpad here and I've got smudges all over I mean this is what you get when you get refurbished stuff uh, but just wanted to try it out now this particular model has had some complaints uh, they've complained about the power port they've complained that it uh, wears out and stops working. I mean, especially on Chromebooks, you know, you can get a pretty decent Chromebook. I think for the $200, $250 range, you can spend like four or $500, like literal laptop prices on Chromebooks, which kind of baffles me. Um, you know, it's kind of interesting. It's kind of, it doesn't taper like a MacBook Air. It's kind of flat, but you know, it's, it's pretty portable and certainly you can kind of manhandle it. Uh, it's an 11.1 inch screen here, and I don't know if the thing is charged at all. Um, my past experience with Chromebooks is that they are kind of like iPhones or Android phones. They just kind of boot up instantly, but this one does not seem to want to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and then we'll try it out and see what this sucker can do. So what is interesting about this Chromebook is that it just uses a micro USB cable to charge. As you can see, it kind of flashes yellow I, apparently as it's charging, but that's just a standard micro USB cable, even though it looks kind of like a USB-C port. Uh, so it just plugs right in there. So any micro USB cable will charge this, which is kind of nice. So if you have the cable to your phone, it should work. All right, guys. So I've been playing around with this Chromebook for a while, and I want to give you a couple quick thoughts. Um, so basically, the, the Achilles heel and the benefit of charging off the micro USB here is that it's a very common cable. You're gonna have it everywhere you go, but it sucks for charging a laptop form factor. So let me just show you what I've got here. I've got the plug, the micro USB connected here, and this yellow little yellow light it shouldn't be flashing. I think it should just be steady state like this. It has taken me forever to get it to finally work. I've plugged it in, it'll flash, it goes black. Um, I've unplugged it, plugged it back in, it won't register it at all. And so I have kind of finagled, kind of unplugging it, plugging it back in, and I finally got it to where the little yellow light is staying on. And I think that means the Chromebook is charging. Now, here's my issue. When you plug it in, that sucker should be charging. You should not have to do it probably a dozen times or so. Now, I don't truly know if that's what it means when it's charging because if I unplug it again and plug it back in, 
uh, there's a, probably a really good chance it's not going to work again because it didn't for a long time. Now it's working there, and uh, and I actually can see the Chromebook actually finally powered on there. Now it just went dead because the battery is still pretty dead because despite an hour having passed here, I still haven't gotten a much of a charge in the Chromebook. And it seems like it's getting power there. Unplug it. If I plug it in again, seems like it's getting power. But I've had so much problem, so many problems with it so far. I can understand, and I think maybe the advantage of me getting this refurbished is that it's had some hours on it. And so part of this has been that uh, that port has been used. And so I'm getting kind of a good, now <laughs> I've just moved the Chromebook around and I want to show you. The light is off. Now it's yellow again. Now it's off, all right? So the movement of the cable just ever so slightly, there it went back on, um, is causing it to have a connection or not have a connection, see? And it's so finicky. I'm trying, I'm pressing it in, I'm trying to get it, the light to come back on uh, because obviously I can't do a lot of testing if I can't get enough power to the battery to charge it up, or even enough power to the Chromebook to uh, draw power directly from the cable to stay on. So now I can't get it to go back on at all. You know, worked about half a dozen times there, and now it's not working at all. And you might be saying, well, maybe it's getting power and the light's just not on. Well try it. I think there might be enough power to actually power it up. Okay, nope. No battery power icon. And so you would think, all right, just leave it charged and test it out. But what I think the main complaint about this one was is the, the power adapter. And I will also say, so far my experience has been that it sucks. So this sucker is going back. I was excited to try out you know, Chromebook to see if it would meet my needs, but obviously this one is not going to. Uh, we're gonna find another alternative to satisfy my tech requirements here, and I'll be back with a video shortly with my next choice. Peter Von Band out.